Okay, so we're gonna start with a blank scene and this video we're creating some jello. Really simple, nothing too fancy. So let's get straight into it. So we're gonna delete everything from you. First thing we're gonna do is go to add mesh and we're gonna choose a cylinder. And the cylinder properties, I'm gonna select the vertices to eight. Okay. Then I'm gonna to go to edit mode. I'm going to edit this. I'm going to select those top faces. I'm going to select the top face here. Scale this in. And the bottom face, I'll just scale out. Now, I want to select the outer faces, but not the bottom and the top. So, I'm going to select that first face. Then, I'll hold Alt and click the, the next face next to it. And, I'll select the entire loop. And then, we're going to go to Extrude Individual Faces. And, we're going to drag out. There we go. So now this is the uh, base for the jello. So this is what our jello is going to actually look like. We can see this dash looks like jello. Uh, it's just really hard edges right now. So let's, before we do that, let's add a loop cut. So we're going to loop cut. And we're going to drop one somewhere about here. And one at the top about here. We can adjust this after. Okay. So let's add some modifiers to this now to make it look like jello. First thing we're going to do is click on our modifier. We're going to go clear. And we're going to add a subdivision. So we're going to look for subdivision. Which will be here. Subdivision surface. And we're going to increase that level to 2. Now if I right click and shade smooth. It's starting to look a bit like jello right? Now the top is a bit eh. Bit, you know so I want to go to edit mode. And select this top face. And scale this in. Now if I hit Control Plus, I'm going to extend that and scale this in like this. There we go. I like the look of that now. Now I want this to sit above the you know, the axis, uh, the zero axis. So I just want to bring this up like so. There we go. And we've got Jello. Hey. Now to make it look more like Jello, because right now it's pretty boring. Let's change the render the, the, the way we view our shading mode. So we're gonna change just shading mode and we're gonna turn scene world on. Right, I'm gonna change it to say this environment here. Now you, you see it's nicely lit, but we need a material to make it look more like jello. And this, you know, we can do this in a few seconds. So I'm gonna click on our material properties, hit new. Change the base color. Yeah. So I'm gonna go for the standard red jello. And here, as here, before we go any further, I want to rename cylinder to Jello. So you can rename this, double click this and say Jello, whatever, Jelly, Jello, whatever you want to call it. Um, and let's go back to top T's. You can rename this as well, Jello. It's always good to name your materials. You know, if you want to be really specific, you might want to call it like Red Jello, you know, um, underscore Red Jello. So you know what everything is, because when you have a scene with loads of materials or loads of objects, it's important you name everything. Anyway, back to it. Let's scroll down here and we're looking for transmission. So transmission, I'm going to increase this value. Boom. And now if you move it, you can see it looks like the light's kind of going for a bit. But we need to change our roughness. There we go. So as we bring our jello down. Now we get this kind of cool jello look. However, it looks very static, right? And, you know, we can do a lot more and get it to wiggle. So, let's make it wiggle. A few, a few more steps and we should be done. You know, the rest will be just lighting the scene how you want. Um, or adding a plate, whatever you like. Anyway, I'm going to go here. I'm going to add a modifier. I'm going to choose this place. Now this place will make it go boom, like it looks almost like it's inflated. Um, that's the look you're looking for. Great. Anyway, I'm gonna click on new texture, go to our texture properties, and choose clouds. Now I'm gonna change the size to about two, which will give me something like this. Now I'll go back to my um, modifier of the displace, and I can bring that strength down, something like. That so maybe point one. Um, there we go. 
and of course you can change this mid level too as well um, you can play around with this how much you want is entirely up to you I'll say 0 0.1 once from now where it says coordinates I want this to be object and then I want to add a new empty I'm going to choose this sphere it's nice and big and easy to see you know if you don't want that you can choose any object it doesn't matter to control this I, would, I, would, I do recommend this empty because you won't see it when you render anyway um do, 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 do. we'll go back to our jello where we had object and then select the empty so now we move this empty we've got a nice jello wiggle there you go wiggling jelly now from here it's up to you if you want to take this further you know you can like the scene if you just want wanted now to create jello a simple jello um, and get it to wiggle there you go let's keyframe this so we know right now I want to keyframe it say on this Y axis so make sure I'm at the start of my keyframe with the Y selected I could hit here and say select key and uh, if I go over here maybe I want to select set the key and update this now we've got animation going from left to right but maybe I want to add some more wiggle so it's a bit quicker add another key I'm just going to add some random keys so we've got some movements sorry about the interruption with the discord pop-ups there we go now if I hit play there we go wiggle in jello now like I said if you want to like this stay here and you know keep going let me just close my discord for a second apologies again there we go anyway so add a plane so I'm not going to do anything too fancy like I said um, then I'm going to hit tab select the edge loop the back here extrude up so E extrude drag this up just a standard backdrop nothing fancy you've seen it probably a thousand times um, bevel that edge boom right click shade to move and we have a backdrop now you can scale this up so it's bigger what I do like to do is always right click I do a vertical split here and what I like to do is add a camera so got my camera and this will be my camera view what I see so I hit zero so now if I move this into position and pull this back there we go I like to turn the gizmos off and everything oh. and if I hit home to fill that screen the home key and fills that like so and let's add a constraint to this camera so we're going to add the constraint and we're going to say track 2 and we're going to say well you're going to look at the jello all the time so wherever I move the camera now you know it's always looking at our subject here now you can play around with all your camera settings like I said there's, there's no rules let's have put a material on our backdrop over here choose whatever color you like blue green sort of a greenish yeah um, and there you go now you can turn on the ambient occlusion if you want maybe that's like, 12 I don't know I just went for a massive number screen space reflections um, and so on turn on whatever you like and and of course right now there's no lights the only light that is coming from is the environment here so you know maybe you want to print this down and add some um, lights yourself you can you know you can add the like for example an area light we're just right now in Eevee um, let's rotate this position with something here for example and go to my light properties I'll just put something some ridiculous 1500 boom you know that's maybe too much 800 boom okay and again if you want a light to look at an object you can again add the constraint if you want to make it life easier see so I want that to point at the jello so wherever I move this now you know it just makes your life easier and then you can still scale this up and down and you can see here the reflections of that light that area light and the way it hits the ground and all sorts if you don't want the scene world and you just want to light this entirely up to you and 
and there's the jello. Um, I can't let that environment bother like the light. Anyway, an extra step. Let's go. I'm going to change this to cycles. Boom. Uh, I'll be using my GPU to, to do this. I'm going to choose denoise. Okay, so we denoise that. And what I have is these gobo um, light textures, you know, which add so much detail in there. Um, if you haven't looked at it, it's worth having a look. I'm not sponsored in any way by this. It's just a cool tool that I've purchased myself that I use. And, you know, and it's a really cool tool. So if I go here and do a horizontal split and go to my asset browser, you can see here I have all these gobos. Now you get a load of gobos. Um, you know, there's some new ones now uh, with these colored animated ones. Um, we can try them out. Let's see. This is the first time I'll try one of these out. So I'm going to drop this in the scene. Um, and move this. And what I'll do, add the constraint to the spotlight. So it looks at the jello. So, track two. And take Jello. Oh, yeah. And let's turn off this. See what, so we can see what this light is actually doing. I might change that background color from a green to something more paleish. There we go. Um, and let's see. Spotlight. I can see some color going in there. Um, if I put it up to something like, I don't know, 1500, something ridiculous. Looks alright, but yeah, I mean, I'm not a fan of this weird colour, but I guess that's just the colour I chose. You know, I'll delete that, um, but yeah, you've got loads of options here. You know, it just adds details without having to do anything, you know. So if I want this, maybe I want this cool, uh your metric light, you know, pick this out. So, maybe right. Oh, 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 oh. I clicked something by accident. There we go. Move this over here. Yeah. Now, at this point, like I said, you don't need to to pay attention to this. This is all extra, but I can blur that. Um. Maybe I'm going to add an extra zero in here. <coughs> and we got a nice jello animation. So it can wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. There you go. Um, and again, this doesn't need to be red. If you want it to be a different color, it'll be green, blue, whatever you like. Green jello, blue jello, green, yellow, pink, whatever you like. <coughs> no rules. And you can change your backdrop color as well. You know, that's it. But hopefully this was useful. Um, enjoy your day again. Sorry for the interruptions. If, if you interruptions, or oh, you can you can also combine the scene world, you know. And it has. You see how much of an impact they have. Um, or you can add HDR and HDRs. Um, you can choose how much how much effect that is. Maybe just one a tiny bit. There you go. But enjoy your evening, morning, night, or day. Um, and yeah, just render that off. You'll be happy with a little wiggling jello. Thank you again and goodbye.